I'm Ruth Durant and I'm a bioinorganic chemist. I lecture at a university here in Scotland. Bioinorganic chemistry is on the borderline of chemistry and biology and we're particularly interested in the behaviour of metal ions in biological systems. The story I would like to tell you is that of Barnett Rosenberg and Loretta Van Camp. They were working in the late 1960s on the growth of bacteria and they had this idea that perhaps electric fields might have some sort of influence on how bacteria grew. So they went ahead and started to design some experiments. They found to their amazement that the bacteria did indeed grow in some very, very strange ways when they had electric fields placed across them. But it soon became apparent that it wasn't the electric field that was causing these changes. In fact, what had happened was that a compound had been formed in the growth medium and it was this that was making the bacteria behave so strangely. In fact, they were growing rather like a pile of knitting that had just been stewed up and all tangled together. It didn't take them long to realise that if they could affect the bacteria in this way, they might potentially have some sort of cure that could be used for cancer. The compound that they found was cisplatin, and it is the most successful anti-cancer drug that's been developed to date. It's so good we call it a magic bullet and it's turned around the survival rates for testicular and cervical cancer from pretty near 95% fatality to about 95% survival. So we're really magic bullets and we're amazed that these compounds exist and it's well worth following these sorts of things through. This is an amazing story and one that's well worth telling.